Boom! I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, back with you for another episode of Toy Talk. If you notice, I'm not at the warehouse for this one. I'm hanging out on a farm during soybean harvest and riding in the grain cart. While I'm here, I think it would be great to talk about a diecast promotions P352 COE pulling a Wilson Commander grain trailer. I kind of wish they had the real truck here to compare to the model, but their truck and trailer will have to do. A quick note, I have talked about P352s before. Please see my links below for more info about Peterbilt trucks. So today, I'm going to talk about one of the first really successful grain trailers developed and built by the Wilson Trailer Company. Smash that like button! And let's get to the rock quarry and begin. And here we go, guys. This is a Diecast Promotions Peterbilt 352 Pacemaker. It is the 86 inch cab with a single bunk, and it's hooked up to a Wilson Commander grain trailer. And this is that beautiful Peterbilt 352. It is a black cab with red striping and then gold pinstriping outlines around it. Really, really sharp paint job. It has the goofy grab bar step, which is easily broken. Battery boxes, air tanks, fuel tanks. 10 hole chrome wheels. Be nice to have real buds, but it's got modern 10 hole chromes front and rear. Soft rubber tires mounted on those 10 hole wheels. And then it has quarter fenders, which are chrome with a little black rubber piece painted black. And then mud flaps on the back, which have chrome brackets and then black. On the front here, we can see that beautiful chrome grill. It's got a single bar there and then a little mesh pattern in it. It's got the tapered end bumper. And then you can see how those stripe patterns come down with a curve right down to the point, making a really, really striking looking front end. Cab over is actually allowed for great paint jobs. Probably better paint jobs than these conventionals do because you had so much flat surfaces to work with. The windshield wipers here are just tampoed in silver, as are the grab bars so you can pull yourself up and wash the windows. The interior is all saddle brown with a gray steering wheel, uh, low back seats, and a little bunk area in the back. Hard plastic windows make up the front windows, and then there is a chrome visor up here. On the passenger side, another one of those grab step bars. You can see here the air cleaner, and it has the same wheels, same many of the other details are the same. There's a Peterbilt logo there, turn signal, marker light. And then this side, instead of the vent door, it has a window. And then there is on that window, a little mirror so the driver can see what's beside him and behind him. Great, great little feature that Peterbilt had. Big mirror, same other details. Rooftop air conditioner, bullet style roof lights that are chrome plated so they're individual parts. And then they tampoed them in yellow to give you the amber lenses there's also two air horns chrome plated mud flap brackets and they chrome plated the whole thing and then they tampoed black on so you get the chrome bracket and then the chrome weight at the bottom the diamond weights there's also two red tampoed brake lights see the air brake canisters and tipped up a little more fifth wheel here it does pivot a little and it's for DCP first gear trailers. There's a chrome diamond plate, and then here are your airlines and pogo stick. Transmission detail and engine detail. Looks like this has got a white engine. And then it's also got rear differentials, air brake, canisters, and it has its drive shafts. Tanks, you can see all the great detail. Positionable steering, not true steering. Positionable, it clicks in place. Now, the 352 cab does tilt, but it is easy to tilt, so be careful when you pick this one up. The latches don't really do a good job. On this one, you can see the dual exhaust are mounted to the back of the cab, and you can see how they just sit down into the cradle. It's pretty cool. You can see that detailed six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, the exhaust piping, and the air intake piping. There's a radiator and all the other details that you would expect from a DCP under the cap. 
hitched up to the truck is a Wilson Commander grain trailer made by DCP. The Commander sloped double walled all aluminum grain trailer is the original aluminum grain trailer manufactured by the Wilson Trailer Company. The Commander is available in both widths and all lengths. Wilson Trailer makes many models of grain trailers besides the Commander. But since the Commander was among the very first all aluminum trailers Wilson manufactured, the Commander has been serving the grain hauling industry for decades. Most notably, the Commander is the first double walled aluminum grain trailer available with sloped front and rear ends. The sloped end walls are probably for structural reasons. The Commander possesses all of the quality elements Wilson is known for. Features like all aluminum construction, mechanical trap doors on the traps, double hoppers, and many other features that come standard on Wilson trailers. The bottoms of the two hoppers come equipped with the original and patented roller traps, the industry's easiest to use trap opener since 1996. The trap is lightweight, mostly trouble free, and very low maintenance. If you've not been around grain trailers, you might be asking, what is a trap? For those of you not familiar with grain trailers, a trap is located at the bottom of the hoppers and is opened to release the grain from the bottom of the hopper. The grain is dropped into a graded pit at the grain elevator and augured into the grain elevator to the storage bins. This commander is a double bottom grain trailer and has two hoppers each having a roller trap. The roller trap comes standard on all Wilson grain trailer hoppers. Trap. Tarp. Hem. Spelled not quite the same, but uses the same four letters. Interesting. One is for emptying the load, the other for protecting the load. Very interesting. Most, if not all, grain trailers are open-topped and use tarps to cover their loads of grain. There are various kinds of tarps and mechanical devices to cover the grain load. Most are manually operated with a crank to wrestle, but electric motors are starting to automate trailer tarps and making life easier for farmers. Tarps are usually sold as an extra and are optional on all Commander and other style grain trailers Wilson makes. Now, let's take a look at the Wilson Commander grain trailer by DCP. And here it is guys. This is the Wilson Commander grain trailer. They've done a pace setter, which has the straight ends. The ends are vertical on the pace setter, front and rear. But the Commander has the sloped ends. You can see how they slope inwards a little bit. It has standard screw down landing gear. It has your, where you would mount your cranks. So you could crank open and close your traps under the hoppers. Two hoppers here. There are tampos for warnings on both of them. DOT striping, little marker lights inside it. And then there's a place where the tarp closes down. Rides on 10 hole chrome wheels with soft rubber tires. Up here you can see it has the Wilson Commander logo tampoed on. The passenger side looks pretty much the same except for you don't see the crank mechanisms for the traps over here. Because these have the slope side, there's actually a little bitty catwalk here where you can walk on and look down inside the trailer. There's a ladder, warning sign, Wilson Commander logo there. And these guys, they factory installed the tart crank. It has the mud flaps here with little tampos of silver so that it looks like it has the weights on the bottom. Brake lights, warning signs, and more brake lights. Also another Wilson logo up there. And here are your roof clearance lights, really sharp. Also, those look a lot like brake lights so you can see. There's the reflective corners right there, all tampoed as well. Really nice. 
and then you can see a nice nice rivet detail and the ribbing that the real trailers have they did a great job lots of little warning sign tampos really really lots of them right there and with a magnifying glass you can actually probably read them there's another ladder so you can climb up and look inside and then another little catwalk also wilson there and the front corners they did a hot stamping process so it looks like they are chrome plated or the stainless corners which lots of farmers like to run marker lights on each one of them here you can see the bottom of the trailer you can see how they got the structure detail for the fifth wheel and then you can see how the hoppers angle out to the sides really really cool that way that it drains the grain very easily both traps do open so you can see in now you can see how they are open they just slide they'll slide on their own so see open closed both of them will work you can see the bottom of the mechanism that cranks them open now there is no crank and it doesn't work but it's there rear axles have air brake canisters on them and then the nice soft rubber tires now we'll open the tarp up top you can see it has a black tarp well it does open now you can see inside see the lovely rivet detail inside the two individual hoppers that just makes the grain pour out easier as it divides it up and you can drop it right into the pit now you can also see how they open see my hand through them really really sharp wilson made a great trailer and dcp made an amazing replica of it and there it is, all ready to head out to the field to pick up the load of grain from the first combines and get it on to the grain elevator or back to the storage bins on the farm. A Diecast Promotions Peterbilt 352 86-inch single bunk cab pulling a Wilson Commander grain trailer. Smash the like button because the Wilson Commander grain trailers come in all widths and lengths. Besides the Commander, Wilson makes many other styles of grain trailers, like the Pace Setter, Super B, and Patriot Lines to haul your grain. I'll talk about a Pace Setter and a Patriot in future videos, as DCP has made 64th scale models of each of these trailers as well. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.